Hello and welcome to another Digital Motorsports video. My name is Ronan and this video is another in a series of frequently asked questions from our customers and the community. So today we're going to be looking at some free mods uh, that are available through Race Department. Um, on Race Department you can basically search for tracks or cars for a set of Corsa and then you can load them directly into your content manager for a set of Corsa. So just a quick introduction to Content Manager. So as the name suggests, it is a Content Manager uh, for a set of Corsa. Um, it's got a nice like interface. Um, it's a lot easier to find your settings and stuff like that. I, I, I always find a set of Corsa to be a bit clunky. Um, so you have your settings, your setups for your cars are all based within this. And it's also a great tool for um, dragging and dropping in a mod, a mod and it will recognize it uh, automatically. So to actually download Content Manager then, you go to a set of course at club forward slash content manager, and down towards the bottom, you will find a download link. Download it, open it up, it'll ask you for a couple of settings like your name and kind of personal preferences and stuff like that, and you're pretty much ready to go. So this is racedepartment.com. Uh, this is your website that we're gonna be using for today to pull the mods from. Uh, just a couple of things. Um, you will need an account to use this site. So at the top there, you'll see register. It'll allow you to register via email or via uh, Facebook, Instagram, um, and a couple of other social media pages. Uh, it is free for the basic user. So this is what we're gonna be using today. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go through how basically you can find these mods and then actually how to pull them into Content Manager. So let's get into it. So today we're going to download a um, track in Donington and we're going to download a car for a set of Corsa. So generally, the way I always the way I always do it is I go to I just go to Google.com and I will. Just type in uh, Donington Park Assetto Corsa Race Department, okay? So this will bring us to the first link. And the first link here is Donington Park. So you go ahead and hit download. Now I've already actually done this, so this should actually be already in my downloads. If you go then to your content manager, so this is my content manager here, and I am gonna drag my file, so I'm just dragging it from my second screen here. So from my downloads folder, I'm gonna drag it and drop it into my content manager. Within content manager then, content manager actually reads the zip or the RAR or the seven zip file, and it'll actually read the contents of it. So it'll actually know the content that's in it. So it'll actually tell you down here, you can see where it says uh, Donington Park GP and Donington Park National. That, that's actually the contents of that uh, file. So. I actually have this installed already, but what you would do is you would go down to the bottom here and you would press install, and it would install that itself. And once that's done, it'll let you know that it's done. And then to go find it then, you go up to the top left-hand corner here, change track, Donington Park 2018, and you have the GP and the national variant. Now, the other thing that can happen is sometimes you may not be able to pull the file directly into a set of Corsa. So in that case, this is the general file path that you would take in order to uh, get to the folder that you would need to manually drag it into. So I'll show you what I mean. So if we go to the C drive, we go to uh, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common Assetto Corsa, because that's the only game I have installed in this PC. When we get this far, this is basically the game files. So we want to go into content. And here you will see we have driver and track. So these are the main ones that we want to be modifying. So once you have this location open, the best thing to do would be to actually pin this particular folder. So what I would do here is I would just go content and I would go pin to quick access that puts your content folder right down here under your quick access so that if you needed to go in and just do it again, it's much easier to see. Under content here, under cars, if you need to drag a car in there, 
you would unzip it within your downloads folder and then you would down, uh, you would put it into uh, you would drag it into here and it would appear I would normally I give content manager a restart sometimes it doesn't actually uh, like you to drag things in while it's open I give content uh, manager a restart and then you would be able to go into your cars and you'd find it that way so let's do this again from scratch okay so we're gonna go Ferrari um, F2002 Assetto Corsa Race Department there we go first result and there we go and F2002 cool so let's make sure that this is going to get pulled across so we go and download shouldn't take that long I'm just going to open up my downloads folder so as you can see my downloads folder here we have the Ferrari uh, F2002 so what we're going to do is we're going to go drag this down into content manager as you can see up here the little icon is now um, says it's installing something so I found two items let's cancel this one so I found two items let's click install F2002 so this will take a minute so you can see successfully installed so if we now have a look under let's see if it actually went under Ferrari do 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 F2002 there we go so F2002, so that's our mod that we installed. So that's ready to go. And we could actually set it up on Dying if we wanted to. But yeah, that's how to um, install a track on a car from Race Department. Um, if you have any questions, please drop them down below or um, drop me an email, um, info at digitalmotorsports.com. Thanks everyone for watching and uh, we'll see you in another video. Are you itching to get racing? Whether it's circuit racing, drifting, running, or even karting, here at digitalmotorsports.com, we run some of the best online leagues in the world. To get involved, visit our website at digitalmotorsports.com and enroll for our next event.